Joseph Stalin, Russian in full Iosif Vissarionovich Stalin, original name, Georgian, Iosef Zugishvili, born December 18, December 6, Old Style, 1878, Gori, Georgia, Russian Empire, see researchers note, died March 5, 1953, Moscow, Russia, USSR, Secretary General of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, 1922-53, and Premier of the Soviet State, 1941-53, who for a quarter of a century dictatorially ruled the Soviet Union and transformed it into a major world power. Everybody has a right to be stupid, but some people abuse the privilege. You cannot make a revolution with silk gloves. Gratitude is a sickness suffered by dogs. I trust no one, not even myself. The only way a kid is going to practice is if it's total fun for him, and it was for me. Principles triumph, they do not compromise. We are 50 or 100 years behind the advanced countries. We must make good this distance in 10 years. Either we do it, or they will crush us. Music's a good thing, it calms the beast and the man. Quantity has a quality all its own. The writer is the engineer of the human soul. I believe in one thing only, the power of human will. It is not heroes that make history, but history that makes heroes. Education is a weapon whose effects depend on who holds it in his hands and at whom it is aimed. Take some exercise, try to recover the look of a human being. Mankind is divided into rich and poor, into property owners and exploited, and to abstract oneself from this fundamental division and from the antagonism between poor and rich means abstracting oneself from fundamental facts. Advance towards socialism cannot, but cause the exploiting elements to resist the advance and the resistance of the exploiters cannot but lead to the inevitable sharpening of the class struggle. When we hang the capitalists, they will sell us the rope we use. Print is the sharpest and the strongest weapon of our party. Everyone imposes his own system as far as his army can reach. Nobody respects a country with a poor army, but everybody respects a country with a good army. I raise my toast to the Finnish army. History shows that there are no invincible armies. Ah, these diplomats. What chatterboxes. There's only one way to shut them up, cut them down with machine guns. Bull Gannon, go and get me one. The leaders come and go, but the people remain. Only the people are immortal. If any foreign minister begins to defend to the death of peace conference, you can be sure his government has already placed its orders for new battleships and airplanes. A sincere diplomat is like dry water or wooden iron. It is enough that the people know there was an election. The people who cast the votes decide nothing. The people who count the votes decide everything. We, USSR and USA, can exist peacefully together if we don't indulge in too much mutual fault-finding in all kinds of trifles. Gaiety is the most outstanding feature of the Soviet Union. If the opposition disarms, well and good. If it refuses to disarm, we shall disarm it ourselves. It takes a brave man to be a coward in the Red Army. The Red Army and Navy and the whole Soviet people must fight for every inch of Soviet soil, fight to the last drop of blood for our towns and villages, onward, to victory. In the Soviet Army, it takes more courage to retreat than advance. Artillery is the god of war. In war, I would deal with the devil and his grandmother. 
I know that after my death a pile of rubbish will be heaped on my grave, but the wind of history will sooner or later sweep it away without mercy. Remember how the First World War broke out. It broke out as a result of the desire to redivide the world. Take some exercise, try to recover the look of a human being. The death of one man is a tragedy. The death of millions is a statistic. Death is the solution to all problems. No man, no problem.